The waters off Fukushima are calm these days. Fishing boats remain in port. The Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant believes contaminated water into the sea on several occasions after the disaster there. Some fish caught in the area contain radioactive substances and exceed Japan's legal limit. Government researchers found the substances in small fish, such as the lands, sand lance and the white bait, shortly after the accident. Now they're finding larger fish, the flatfish, the rock trout, are contaminated too. In tonight's Nuclear Watch, we'll look at how radioactive contamination is harming the sea. Marine physicist Yukio Masumoto runs simulations on how radiation spreads through the ocean. Winds and water temperature affect how cesium-137 from the plant travels. The substance flowed from the plant for several weeks after the accident. The red area shows high levels of cesium remained near the coast, even after one month. Warm and cold currents converged in waters off the plant and trapped the cesium near shore. Contaminated water lingers along the coast. Three months later, the cesium dispersed, as we see when the red area turns yellow and then blue. The radioactive substance may have a long time effect across a wide area. Professor Takashi Ishimaru of Tokyo University of Marine Science and Technology studies marine biology. He's looked at fish off Fukushima. They eat sandworm and starfish near the sea floor that are contaminated by radioactive substances. Ishimaru conducted his first survey in the area four months ago. He found low levels of cesium in serpent starfish and in sandworms. Larger fish eat those creatures. Ishimaru says the concentration of radioactive substances rises tenfold inside the fish and exceeds the legal limit of 500 becquerels per kilogram. Sandworms and serpent starfish eat organic matter in the mud. Through these creatures, radioactive substances are passed on to bigger fish. It takes a long time for that to happen. That's why high levels of cesium are still found in the fish. The concentration of radioactive substances in serpent starfish last month was only one-tenth of what it was in the first survey. Radioactivity in sandworms decreased only 40%. Professor Ishimaru says many kinds of fish feed on sandworms, so the contamination is likely to affect marine life for some time to come. Farmers and food retailers are selling their products, including some from areas hit by the March disaster at a food fair now underway in Tokyo. The fair opened on Saturday. Participants from around the country offered their wares at more than 80 booths. The booth of an agricultural cooperative from Miyagi Prefecture served skewered grilled beef. The staff assured customers that no radioactive substances have been detected in the beef. A retailer of fisheries products in Tokyo sold squid and mackerel from Miyagi. A grilled salted mackerel sandwich was especially popular among the visitors. People in Japan's Tohoku region are pulling themselves together and getting back to their busy lives. The earthquake and tsunami devastated towns all along the east coast eight months ago. Now residents are seeing signs of a revival. Local fishermen brought in 20 tons of mackerel, salmon and other fish to a market in the town of Otsuchi. About 30 fishermen and market officials observed a moment of silence for those killed in the disaster. Then they took part in the fish first auction since the tsunami. The haul was about half the normal size for this time of year. Still, it was enough to bring life back to the market. Every fisherman feels down if we don't catch enough fresh fish. I hope the situation will improve little by little from now on. I have mixed emotions. I hope that more fisheries workers would come back to the market.
Inspection of newly harvested Fukushima rice has found levels of radiation above government limits for the first time since the nuclear crisis began in March. The Fukushima prefectural government says tests have detected 630 becquerels per kilogram of cesium in rice from a farm in the Onami district, about 50 kilometers from the disabled Fukushima nuclear plant. The government's limit is 500 becquerels per kilogram. The prefecture says the farm produced about 840 kilograms of rice this year. It says the harvested rice is being kept in a warehouse and has not gone into circulation. The prefecture will monitor the situation to guarantee the safety of the rice. In the Onami district, we will re-examine crops from all 154 farms and determine the cause of the contamination. Last month, the prefecture allowed shipments from the district after tests at two locations confirmed radioactive levels were safe. Another cause for concern for parents in Japan's devastated northeast, a medical consulting firm in Tokyo has detected radioactive material in the urine of 104 children in Fukushima Prefecture, site of the troubled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. The firm collected urine from children aged 6 or younger in Minamisoma City to check for possible internal radiation exposure. Of 1,500 samples have been analyzed so far, 7% contain traces of radioactive cesium. The levels of cesium detected were mostly between 20 and 30 becquerels per liter, which is just slightly above the detection limit. The medical consulting firm says the level of internal exposure does not pose a threat to health. The director at the National Institute of Radiological Sciences, Makoto Akashi, says that although the test results need verification, they do point to the possibility of internal exposure in children in Fukushima. The doctor says the physical development of children in Fukushima Prefecture may be affected by the lack of outdoor activity due to the nuclear plant accident. Shintaro Kikuchi tracked the weight of 245 children aged 4 to 6 in two kindergartens in Kodiyama City, about 60 kilometers from the plant. The results show an average weight gain of 0.81 kilograms over the year through June. The figure for children in the same age group in the previous year was 3.1 kilograms. Children in one of the kindergartens used to get one and a half hours of outdoor activity per day, but have been allowed to play only indoors after the accident. The smaller weight gain could be related to reduced appetites due to lack of exercise as well as changes in secretion of growth hormones due to stress. The children may not be getting enough protein to develop their muscles. Kikuchi said the decrease may be temporary, but that more checks are needed to prevent children's stunted growth. Doctors and nurses in Fukushima have begun visiting areas in the prefecture to give children thyroid checkups. This will help assess the health impact of the nuclear accident. 239 children were checked at a health center and nursery school in the town of Kawamata on Monday. Their parents will be notified of the results in about one month. Thyroid checkups for children were only available at Fukushima Medical University. The prefectural government decided to help families living far away from the university. The test will include about 360,000 children in the prefecture who were 18 years old or younger on April 1st. This was about 20 days after the accident. Radioactive iodine released from the nuclear plant could accumulate in the thyroid glands of children and raise their risk of developing cancer. Children in the prefecture will undergo the checks every two years until they turn 20. After this, the checks will be once every five years.